Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we help you make the best out of your Microsoft Dynamics 365. So today we're going to look at how to track the last activity date. So this is a request that we've been having uh, quite frequently and it's with reason since tracking the last activity date could be a great way to help you nurture leads or accounts but also it can help you prioritize some of the stalling opportunities. So for today's exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try, we're going to add the um, last activity date on opportunities and I'll show you how to add that to your CRM form. So before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that Microsoft had recently updated some of the terms um, of their platform. So what we used to call entities are now tables and as for uh, fields, we'll be calling them columns. So for this video, I might be using terms interchangeably across it. So bear with me. Um, if you see any confusion, please feel free to drop it in the comments. So first off, we're going to open Power Apps. And the reason is uh, to create this new field or this new column, we'll be creating a rollup field. So in Power Apps, what you're going to do next is select the appropriate environment and then create the solution that will host the uh, the new field. Um, so as you can see, I had already created one, um, but in case you're wondering, all you have to do is click new solution and then provide the information required. So let's go ahead and enter our newly created solution. And within it, you are now going to add the uh, modifications that you'll be doing. So. Today, since we are working on opportunities, um, I'll simply add the opportunity as the newly modified uh, table. And to do so, we'll simply click on Add Existing. We'll click on Table and we'll search for Opportunity. So once you select Opportunity, you can add it. We don't need any of the uh, options selected. Simply add it. And there you are. So within opportunity, what we're going to do next is to create the new field, the new role of field that's going to be called last activity date. So you can go ahead and click on add column. Again, column being the new term for fields. You enter the display name last activity date. The <clears throat> name should autofill its, by itself. This is the name that will be shown in the database. The type will be a date only type. And then as for the requirement, you can choose either optional, recommended, or required. For this example, we'll simply leave it at optional. Uh, leave it as searchable, and then you create it as a rollup. Once you click on rollup, the rollup uh, menu will pop up. So if you have a pop-up blocker, you may want to disable that before this exercise. Or what you can always do is once the pop-up has been blocked, your new column will still be created. In that case, what you, all you have to do is click on the newly created column and you'll see the option to open rollup. So you can go ahead and click open rollup, which will bring up the rollup field menu to which you will add all the parameters for your rollup field to track. Uh, the important part here is the related entity and you are going to select activities. It's an alphabetical um, order so coincidentally activities is the one that is automatically selected so we'll leave it at that and then as for the filter you want to tell your roll of field to track the activity status that is completed um, you could always track some of the canceled and scheduled but for the purpose of this exercise we want to know what's the last ac completed activity as for the indirectly related activities, that's a different subject that I could maybe go into deeper details if you guys are interested. Uh, just leave a comment in this section below. Uh, this basically means that you want to track all activities that are indirectly related to the opportunity. For example, if there's an activity that was completed in the account or contact related to this opportunity, it will still be tracked as an activity that's part of it. Um, so your last activity date will actually show the last activity that was completed on any uh, related entities or tables to this opportunity. 
Again, if it's confusing, just let us know in the comment section below. As for the aggregation, you want to leave it at max and you want to, you want to track the actual end date. And we'll simply click the checkbox and then save and close. So there you have it. You have your new rollup field ready to be used and deployed. Now to add it to one of your forms, we're going to then select add subcomponents and click on the forms tab. Here you'll have a menu of all your existing forms. So we'll select the one that's most appropriate for this new rollup field and click add. So once it's been added, you'll see it under your forms uh, tab and you can click it to then modify it. To add your rollup field, simply click on table columns and within the filter, you can filter out all your custom fields. So we'll select last activity date, which has just been created and simply drag and drop it to our form. In our case, we're going to put it right next to our timeline. Click save and then click publish. And as a best practice, if you want to make sure that all your customizations are published, you can go back to the solutions menu and then click on publish all customizations. Now let's see what this looks like on the front end. So let's go back to our CRM and we'll open up the opportunities form to which we now should have the rollup field. So let's go look at an opportunity. We can look at all opportunities right here. And there we have it. Right on top of the timeline now has the last activity date. And so the last thing I'd add is that the rollup field will not show the information immediately. You can click the calculator if you want to see for a specific opportunity. If not, within 24 hours, everything should be updated with the correct information. From there on, you can create views to select and filter out certain opportunities to which your last activity date is your primary component. And there you have it. Now you can track the last activity date in accounts, leads, or opportunities. Have yourself a great day. And if you have any questions regarding the Dynamics 365 CRM, please do not hesitate to contact us. I'll see you guys in the next video.